Hello, precious souls. Welcome to Infinite Union. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on Twin Flames. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe. So this is a question that oftentimes can most certainly happen in a Twin Flame relationship but also when you realize that you have a twin flame or you realize not even just labeling it a twin flame relationship, you realize a very intense connection between you and this other person. Why does this person make me feel this way? Why does this person continue to trigger things about me? Why is this person doing this? Why, why does this person pretty much make me feel a certain type of way? Now, before we, you know, we also talk about that as well. One of the things that can definitely happen is twin flames can separate. Now, you know, without this, certain other things don't really happen in the way that they usually do happen. And one of the things that happens between twin flames, especially with frequencies and all of that, and we did talk about we did talk about how twin flames are predetermined and um, you're predetermined before you entered into this physical body and before your physical body found out and, you know, before all of those things really happened on an energetic level, you made this decision to enter into this physical body to, as an advanced soul, to be in this physical body, right? One half of you is in another body, the other half of you is in this body, but we chose to enter this path freely. And this is before, before your human mind figured out about the twin flame journey. This is before your human mind figured out if you have a twin flame or you don't have a twin flame. But bottom line, this is all part of the journey. That's the number one reason. Because it, it, all, it all is part of the journey. Now, you know, another reason I want to throw out there that this can happen. And it is also because of 3D realities. So we're really focused on the job that we have especially as a twin flame, we're really focused on the job that we have. We're really focused on the money that we're making. We're really focused on all of those 3D materialistic things that are happening in our lives right now. Or, you know, maybe we're not even really focused on that. We're focused on other 3D aspects of our lives right now. And we're not really focused on what can happen or the feeling and the sensations that are happening in our body. So, why does twin flame separation happen? It happens because it's meant to. So if you're thinking, you know, well, you know, Aura, am I really meant to be with my twin flame? And, you know, this and that and that and that. And, you know, yes, you are meant to be with your twin flame. Relationship wise, that might be a different story. But yes, you're meant to be around your twin flame. You're meant to be with your twin flame. So on a separation aspect of twin flames, you are meant to separate. You are meant to separate for growth. You are meant to separate for expansion, but you're also meant to separate because perhaps maybe you do need some space from your twin flame so that you can explore different worlds or you could explore different spiritual avenues or you could explore other avenues. You weren't meant to constantly be chained up to your twin flame all the time. You know, if some of you are really saying that to yourself, but in, you know, the most positive aspect, you were meant to separate from your twin flame because you were meant to go through things without them. And this goes for both of you. Your twin flame was meant to go through things without you, without you in their physical presence. But mind you, I want to remind you is you're always connected to them. 
because separation is just an illusion. Separation is always just an illusion because we are our twin flame. And this even goes the same with how much time has passed. So even if you have spent years apart from your twin flame, none of that really matters. Because separation is just an illusion. You are your twin flame. You are, you just are. Because they are you and you are them. But by all means, every single step that you take, you are taking towards your twin flame. You are taking towards them. And maybe there are certain parts of the connection that they might not understand. But you are meant to evolve. You came into this physical body and you were meant to evolve. No matter what, no matter the circumstances, no matter if they're talking to you or they're not talking to you, no matter if they have blocked you, unblocked you, taking you off every social media, it does, that part does not matter. And I'm going to tell you that just because they're rejecting you in whatever shape, way, or form, that part does not matter because they are you. There's no running from it. There's no chasing it. There's no blocking it, rejecting it. It just is. So to answer your question on why do twin flames separate, you separate because you were meant to and you are meant to evolve. It doesn't matter how much time has passed. It doesn't matter how much time you are separated from them. What is yours will always be. So if they are your twin flame, it'll always be that way. They will always be part of you. They will always be in your physical and in your spiritual astral. It'll always be. So. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is Infinite Union. <laughs>